Let's get more on the details of the preparations of the Philippine contingent to the Asian Games. Kasama natin yon ang presidente ng Philippine Olympic Committee na si Ricky Vargas. So Ricky, thank you so much for the time and welcome to the score. Good evening, Amtan. Uh, so Ricky, I just want to ask you from where you're sitting as the president of the POC, how confident are you with the preparations of all our Filipino athletes as they get ready for the Asian Games? Well, what I can see is from the time that I took office, which was in February, and uh, actually got really involved in March and to the, to the present August. So that's about six months okay. of sight that, that I can see. Uh, we have uh, appointed at that time a, a, a replacement uh, CDM, Chef de Mission. It, used, it was not, uh, who did not start as Chef de Mission, and we appointed, and his new is, uh, is uh, Mayor uh, Richard Gomez. Mm -hmm. So he has that same site yeah. of, of six months. From what we see, we put in a team that is, that, that, that are three three levels. Okay. One 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 level is the ability to win uh, a medal. One, two, and three. The second level is the ability to at least get into four, five, six in preparation for for Southeast Asian Games, mm -hmm. and, and be lucky if they can also go into the medal count. So that's how we see uh, the preparation, and 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 the the athletes are very committed. To perform, uh, to perform, and they're all committed to represent the country. Sir, I want to ask you about the, the budget because our athletes always talk about how it's a big deal that the government supports them in yes. their quest. Yes. Na makapagbigay ng karangalan sa ating bansa, and I understand that the POC is different from the PSC. Sometimes it's the PSC that funds certain groups, certain teams. Kayo po ba from where you're sitting in the POC, how do you support the teams? Well, the, 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 all the funding for training and the sending to the Asian Games is given by the PSC. And so far, we're, we've been very happy with, with the cooperation with the PSC. The POC, in its own little way, okay. has also helped uh, athletes. For example, at skateboarding, uh, uh, another example is in weightlifting. So, in our own little way, we we help the athletes go through their their training. Yeah, Heidelin Diaz was here uh, last week, and she was talking about how happy she was in terms of how the government, the POC, has helped uh, weightlifters, and she's actually encouraging a lot of athletes to get into weightlifting. Are, are you? The government is PSC. So we are POC, which POC, is a okay. private, yeah. All right, P -O -P POC. Um, ano po ba yung nagawa ninyong uh, tulong for in, the likes in, of Heidel and Diaz? Yeah, in, yeah. in a little way, we've, yeah. we've, we've been able to share in the financial burden of, of, uh, of uh, weightlifting. Mm. And uh, we've also been able to ask sponsors to, to help out with uh, weightlifting. And one of the sponsors of, of Heidelin is actually the MBPFS, mm. which is the Sports Foundation. Okay. Earlier, we saw the interview with Richard Gomez, yeah. and uh, he was talking about how he feels about yung pag pull out ng basketball mm. team in the Asian Games. What about you personally, sir? H what is your comment on what happened, uh, and how do you feel about us as a nation? not being able to send a basketball team when basketball is our number one sport? Well, the, the decision not to send uh, the basketball team was from the SVP, the NSA. And us from the POC, and me personally, there's no way not to support that decision. Mm -hmm. So we, I've, I've, I've said I've supported the, that decision because it goes, it, it's so hard to second guess uh, uh, the, 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 the NSA. Our role in the POC is to support the, the NSA, and we support that, that decision. Okay. Um, Richard Gomez also talked about the number of medals, and he mentioned in the previous uh, Asian Games, we were only able to get one. Ano po ba ang projection natin in this particular Asian Games yeah. for you personally. Good, good, good question. What, what, what do you see? Like, in what sport do you see us getting on the podium? Well, uh, I, I really don't like making predictions on on how many gold medals or how many medals we 
I get. What what I'd like to say is I'd like the team mm -hmm. that we're sending to perform better mm -hmm. than how it performed uh, four years ago in the Asian Games. I'm confident we will be able to do that. Mm -hmm. We have a team that that we're relying on in terms of of combat sports. I think yeah. we're we're pretty strong in in combat sports mm -hmm. and. Uh, we probably will get some medals there, whether they're gold, silver, or, or bronze. We're probably looking forward to, to medals in, in that area. We're also looking at uh, a new discovery, which is skateboard. Mm -hmm. The POC has uh, supported this, this skateboarder, uh, Filipina skateboarder, who's now training in UK. Mm -hmm. And uh, the POC has supported her training. And uh, we're looking forward that maybe she can bring home uh, a, a, a medal mm. and hopefully a gold. She's, I think, number eight now in the world. Mm. So we do have uh, hopes also for cycling, mm -hmm. uh, a repeat, because yeah. cycling won, won a gold medal. And of mm. course, also hopefully boxing. Mm -hmm. Boxing will, will give us, taekwondo will give us, judo will give us, yeah. karate should give us, jiu-jitsu should give us yeah. some, some hope. Yeah. of a better performance than four years ago. Sir, all these combat sports na binanggit po ninyo, uh, hindi na po tayo nagugulat that we can be competitive in oh, those yeah. areas. Oh, yeah. But I'm actually surprised that you mentioned skateboarding because, yeah. I mean, this is not this is not a sport that is very popular, but we do see some kids in the park yeah. skateboarding. You know, we discovered yeah. this young lady yeah. uh, who in, in, in skateboarding and she was uh, training uh, in in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and we found out that uh, she was not being she was housed in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. She was in Hong Kong because there was skateboarding parks, and not so much none none at all. I think skateboarding parks mm -hmm. parks in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and so we supported her because she was uh, short of of uh, allowance in terms of the in terms of getting her nourished. We supported her, and now we sent her to UK to 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 compete, and she's continued training. So we have very high hopes for skateboarding. All right, and that's very interesting, uh, sir. It's it's good to learn something new in terms of the sports that you guys are supporting from the POC, sir. So, President Ricky Vargas, thank you so much for the time, and uh, thank, thank you, you for uh, answering all of our questions here on the show. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Hey everybody, this is Anton Rojas. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's ABS-CBN Sports and Action.